Hi, I'm Danica. I'm so glad you're here right now. I'm here in Treaty 6 territory. It's a place where people have gathered to listen and tell stories since time immemorial. And it's a special place where we don't only listen to the stories of the people around us, but there are some really amazing creatures that we can learn about and, and see all around us. One of my favorite things to do when I get some holidays is to take walks. And some of the special things that I notice when I'm on my walks are birds. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about bird watching today. And I'm just inside now, but for the last couple of days, I've gone outside and tried to get a little video footage to show you some of the creatures around our city here in Saskatoon. And so I walked down by the Children's Discovery Museum, and I want to show you a little bit about what I found. So this video requires paying attention with your eyes and your ears. Did you know what kind of bird that was? That was a magpie. And you can see that it was searching for something to eat. Now, down at the Children's Discovery Museum, near the parking lot, someone has left bird seed. So sometimes you can see lots of birds, but they were too shy for me to get a video of them. Sometimes we see signs of birds, but not the birds themselves. Sometimes we see nests or other things. So look what I found on another walk. So here's a little home that someone has carved out of a tree. I don't see anybody here today, but I'm sure that someday someone's home. Now who do you think lives in a place like that? Do you have a guess? I think it's a woodpecker. When we're bird watching, we have to use more than just our eyes. We also have to pay really close attention with our ears. We could even call it bird listening as well as bird watching. So pay attention carefully in this next clip. Well, you might be able to hear and see something interesting. If you guessed a woodpecker, like I did, you were right. It was a downy woodpecker. I don't always know the names of the birds that I see. And sometimes I ask one of my friends who loves bird watching and he collects the names of the birds that he sees every year. Now, all over the world at this time of the year, people also pay attention and count birds. And the Audubon Society has a special holiday bird count where they ask people, volunteers from all over, to count the birds in their area from December 14th until January 5th. So that might be something that you want to look up. Another thing that's really important to me are bird books. And these are two of my bird books, but you can also find them at the library. 
One is called Birds of Canada, and one is called Saskatchewan Birds. And so when I looked up that bird that I saw, that little woodpecker, I found out that it was a downy woodpecker. And I know that in the tree, on the outside of the tree, was a male because it had a little bit of red on its head. So that was pretty exciting. So I always use my bird books to help me identify the birds. So I hope that you have some fun with bird watching through your holiday season as well. Thanks for watching.